on the saxophone, on the on the the Come on, baby, get a ride and let let run. Everybody, let run. Anyway. Yes, as you all know, I have made it very clear that I was familiar with... I'm trying to think. Before I started doing reactions to Elvis, how many songs did I know? I knew, um... Knew this. Uh, I knew, um... What's the other one, man? From the 50s. Uh... Uh... Um... Jeez. I can't think. I knew the song from Lilo and Stitch. I can't think of the names, but I've made it very clear that a good portion of these songs I knew and I heard. Well, not a good portion. I would say a whole pie chart. I probably knew maybe two, three percent. Um, but the rest I've never heard a day in my life. Um, but Jailhouse Rock is definitely not one of them. This is one that I knew about. I know the story. I know that... Um, is it Big Mama Thornton? I forgot exactly who they credited this song to. Um, well, who, who who made the original version and, and Elvis, you know, then made his cover. Um, you, you know, I know this song. I know this song. Don't know all the words as you, as you heard from the intro. But... Um, I, I, I've heard this song. I know this song. I love this song. Uh, it's one of the staples of rock and roll. And, um, you know, everybody was like, look, man, you know, and I've been kind of, I've been reacting to songs that I have heard or know, you know, known of, uh, known of. So everybody was like, well, do Jailhouse Rock, idiot. Do one of Elvis' biggest songs. So, Sure. Sure, and, and it's been a long time. I have seen the video as well. It's been a long time since I've seen the video. I feel like I've heard the song rather recently. I don't know where, but um, it's been a long time since I've seen the the video of Elvis. He slide down the pole and do the. Hey, money on shell block. <laughs> Elvis, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie. He, Elvis, he, like he don't have the the the. The natural, like, just smoothness of, like, some of my favorite dances. <laughs> I, I, I gotta give it to a man. Elvis, uh, out of all of the performers that I've seen, I, I appreciate, what I appreciate mo most about Elvis it's not his dance moves. Um, it's, it's, it's really his charisma. It's really his... Um, I, I just really appreciate how he just... He, he just he just goes up there and, 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 and does whatever... Whatever he feels, he does. I could just tell. But he does it in a way that's like... I don't know. I don't know. How, but again, the best way I could describe Elvis is his charisma is what sells it. Because from a technical standpoint, Elvis is not a great dancer. Um, But he really... He sells it. He really, really sells it. Like, and... It's fun to watch. You know what I mean? It's really fun to watch Elvis. Um, and this video, I think, is one of those videos where, again, compared to some of the great African-American dancers of the time, I don't think Elvis could be in the same room. But Elvis, he has a charisma. It's just a natural, like, just just like he just he just had fun i like people who have fun my favorite performers aren't really the ones that have like a bunch of 
lights and pyro. You just go up there and do what the end. Like, you want to know who one of my favorite performers are, is, was? Bob Marley. Bob Marley don't even move. He's literally just up there playing the guitar. But it's it like, it's just a vibe. You feel everything that Bob do. DMX. I don't know if y'all, I'm sure most of y'all never watched DMX perform. DMX is one of my favorite performers. He don't have a bunch of stuff with him on stage, but it's just an energy. I appreciate people who just go up there and, and, and feel it, have fun. When you see a lot of performers today, it's so mechanical, it's so choreographed. It's just like, you know, I, I can appreciate choreography, but it's like, just feel it. Go up there and feel it. That's why Michael Jackson, in my opinion, he'll never be eclipsed. Because he, he was the perfect blend of just going up there and feeling it and choreography. It was a perfect blend. But anyway, rapping too much. Elvis Presley, Jailhouse Rock. Again, one of my favorite Elvis records. Let's go. so crazy to think that this was like considered controversial when it first came out like <laughs> cause the man's, this the man's hips are going side to side this was considered sexual this is considered like obscene like and now when you go watch like award shows like they be up there damn near naked. Like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I just, I, every time I th see this video or, or I watch any Elvis performance, and I just think about how controversial people made, like, how, like, and I get it, completely different times. I wasn't alive. The only person that I probably could ask, my grandmother, God rest her soul, she passed away. But I just, you know, I, I just find that incredible that this was controversial at all. Like, like the man's hips are just, he's just doing a little dance. And like, the fact that people had a problem with this is like insane to me. Sitting on a block of stone, we're over in the corner, we've been all alone. The warden said, hey buddy, don't you be no square. You can't find a partner, use a wooden chair and rock.
Just great. Great. That's the only thing to describe it. It's just great. Love that record, man. Love that record. I I completely forgot who they said made that record originally. <laughs> Cause I feel like it's another song that Big Mama Thornton made. This Hold on. Okay, so Jailhouse Rock, rock and roll song recorded by Elvis Presley for the film of the same name. It was written by Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller. Huh. So I'm completely about a, I'm thinking about a completely different song. Now, I mean, y'all know I'm stupid, man. I, I can't believe I... Uh, anyway, Hound Dog. Hound Dog is the one that Big Mama did. I'm so damn stupid. Okay. But I remember somebody saying that somebody had a similar song to this. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at the history, so I, I, I need to shut up. Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller, RCA Victor, released a song on a 45 RPM single September 24th, 1957. Uh, the song has been recognized by the Grammy Hall of Fame, the American Film Institute, and others. The single with its B-side, Treat Me Nice, another song from the film soundtrack, was a U.S. number one hit for seven weeks in the fall of 1957, number one in the U.K. for three weeks in early 1959. The Jordanaires, backing vocals, Bill Black, bass guitar, Scotty Moore, electric guitar, DJ Fontana, Fontana drums, Dudley Brooks, piano. I really love the piano. That's actually a great person to highlight on this record. The, the It's such a great record in the bass guitar, Bill Black. But that piano is going crazy the whole song. It's really a great record. It's a great fucking record. Jaws Rock is a great record. I would I was just about to say I would love to know where Rolling Stone got the song ranked. Um they have it at 67. That's a, that's 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 good. That's good. It's a great record, man. Uh 2016 Grammy Hall of Fame announced its induction to the Grammy Hall of Fame. Wow, it really didn't, it didn't chart really outside of the US. Australia, Belgium, Finland, and South Africa, and UK. The rest is just the US. Hmm, that's, that's interesting. Went double platinum in the US. Yeah, man, Jailhouse Rock is by far one of the more recognizable records of all time. It's one of the more fun records of all time. Um, again, it's really a staple in rock and roll. Um, I, I like like when you when you when you think about one of the songs that really kind of like shaped what rock and roll ultimately became. I think I think Jailhouse Rock. Is one of the first is one of the first records that you should mention, um, especially from a commercial standpoint. Um, it's just a, it's just a great record, man. It's a great it's a great record. It really really is. Um, and as for Elvis, I really love his voice or his vocals in it. Um, again, because it's such a fun record that. Um, I, I you know for a lot of for a lot of rock songs like the actual vocals don't get appreciated enough because of just the intensity and 
kind of the sound of the record. But some of my fa- uh, some of my favorite rock songs that I've been you know since I've been doing reactions, the vocals. While it's not like the the thing that really that you really focus on, I can't like. All of my favorite rock songs that I reacted to on this channel. While the song may not be recognized for the vocalist. The vocals are nine times out of ten really, really good. So when I, I'm, I'm talking about like Free Bird. Uh, Stairway to Heaven. Jailhouse Rock. Um. Uh. 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 ACDC records like it like you don't like the vocals. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but y'all y'all know what I'm trying to say. The records are so good that you don't really focus on the vocals, but the vocals are really good in all of these records. And this is another one. The record is so fun, and you just dancing and having a good time. Like Elvis could sound like shit on this record, but it's such a great record that you wouldn't even care. But Elvis actually sounds incredible on this record. He really sings good. Like he really like he's grunting. He got the growl, a little soul in there at some points. Like he really sounds good. He sounds incredible. Anyway, I, I messed this video all up, but y'all let me know how y'all felt about the record, man. I really enjoyed this. Um, again, you will not see first time reaction in the title of this. It is not my first time hearing this. I've heard this record a bunch of times. Love this record. One of my favorites, man. One of my favorites. And um, happy that I experienced it with you all. So if there's any more Elvis, I, I'm, which I know it is, <laughs> that I haven't gotten to that y'all want me to check out, y'all just let me know. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, with Elvis Presley. Peace.